Hey guys, how are we doing? Uh, I'm not, well I am late to the normal start time, but uh, every other Thursday I'm going to be starting a little bit late, so I did push it back to half one on YouTube, but if you're on Twitch then you won't have seen that but basically every other Thursday it's going to be a bit late. Um, hey Talent Service, hey Fives, how are we doing? Uh, I'm not ready to start right this second. I've probably got about six minutes before I'm able to start because I can hear the window cleaners are here. But I will be along in a moment. Um, I'm just I'm loading up the save and making sure everything is still, you know, functional. Uh, yeah, everything looks okay. Yeah, I need some uh, battleship assets. Yeah, we're all we're at Big Town. We're almost at Great Town. Um, but yeah, I think just expanding the little satellite, this little satellite town that we started, which I'm well, gonna have to think about a name for. I'm also, I, th I think I need to put some edging around Quebec Park as well. We'll see. Yeah, it's all looking okay. No, 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 not at all. You were very, very helpful uh, with uh, with uh, I was say Rome Total War there <laughs> with Rule the Waves. Um, no, I'm just uh, I, I can't. Um, I, I, I can't process someone talking to me while I'm trying to stream. It just, it just, it just makes my brain shut down. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing today? Yeah, it's just going to be a very quiet, chilled stream today. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow either. I know it's my choice of game. But... Uh, I I have to I have stuff going on this weekend. So I'm gonna have to figure it. British public transport. Public transport in this country is rubbish because of years of underinvestment. Much like all of our other public services. But uh, that's dangerously close to politics talk. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Tell you what, we'll just go over, go over to the go over to the game. Me, I'll keep my ear out. Game, hello. Game. It's because I have it set up for Victoria. Do 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 Please work. Hey! There we go. So this is the satellite town that I started on. I'm gonna keep working on this. Uh, keep filling it out. Well I'm glad I'm <laughs> your Discomfort is my game. Um, not off with a bit of zoning. Hey, Jersey boy. Ah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much for the lovely compliment. Yeah, and then we'll fill in this area too. Although it'd be nice to have something that's a bit bit of a focus for this area. All this is quite close to the town centre, but this is this is not. Maybe a park? What have we got? Maybe uh, I mean, it's not going to be big, but a large park might work quite well as an option. A, a park. Playground. Playground. 
just as something is a bit of a you know central focus something like that I wish the alleys had pavements, they really should, but and if this road pattern is giving you the heebie jeebies, then it's working. from Florida. Hello. Finally got to catch a stream. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's just going to be a short stream today. <laughs> Someone complaining about air pollution. Really? It's probably coming from the... Uh, yeah, we've just got a little bit of air pollution from the geothermal plant, but... I kind of thought when I got rid of all the industry, this would go away. Maybe it lingers for a lot longer than I, a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, it stopped all the textures again. <laughs> Why does the game do that? So weird. I don't know, there's people using this. Okay, what I should do. I really don't want people parking along here. So we're going to make this a green road. to be stuck mate yeah there we go good uh, York Street yeah we can have a look so York Street goes from here oh this car's going along oh this van sorry going to stop all the time because it's a post van. Really should pull in. <laughs> then we go over this way. It's mm -hmm. pretty nice. It's nice and nice quiet street along this bit. Turning off. Uh, and then it comes up along here. Oops. And then up around like this. There's the crematorium. The trees are filled out nicely, actually. Hey, you all rains. How are you doing? And then we go along here to this little roundabout. 
all along here, down by the bridge. All along here. Do, do, do. All along here. And then it comes back in here. And then you have this much busier section, particularly along here, where you just have a lot of cars trying to turn left <laughs> and get up onto. It's just, there's just a lot of traffic here. Uh, and there will be until. You know, they're not trying to, or everyone's not trying to commute over down here. Uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Right, how's this looking? Uh, yeah, it's kind of popping. It stopped dumping the textures, Jesus. The game's obsessed with dumping the textures and reloading them. Make it multi lane? It's not really going to help because there's, there's traffic. From here, trying to turn right. The only thing I could do is make a dedicated turning lane, maybe. Should have three lane asymmetric. No, I want it going the other way. Uh, how do I make you go the other way? Three lane asymmetric in the wrong direction. How do I turn you around? Ah, right, hold right click, okay. I think. Nope. God damn it. Okay, there is another way of doing it, which is just to delete the road. Which is not ideal. And put it back in so that it goes the correct way. Like so. Uh, and some homes are going to have to re pop in. That's very annoying. Including some over here. Which makes no sense to me, but there we go. Gonna have to dezone that. Yeah, there we go. But uh, we'll see, we'll test your idea. We'll see if it makes any difference to the traffic. I seriously doubt it. No, 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 no. You know, more lanes does not help. It's just because everybody's trying to turn left here. We could do a custom roundabout here rather than just the default one. That's a potential thing we can do. Um, because you can have a dedicated left lane. Uh, we could do a custom roundabout. Well, that's what I mean. Like roundabouts, roundabouts come off the roads that are attached to them. So if you put three lanes roads here, then it'll spawn an extra lane. Um, yeah, the main issue is just with people coming in, just in general, but also just people wanting to come, a lot of people wanting to turn left from, from here and go up this way. So... I mean, there is another option... which is to have a, a road coming here that is left, left only. That might help. We can try it. Because that will relieve pressure on the roundabout. So let's... Let's go with, and I really don't want any zoning off of it. 
So it's just going to be a highway ramp, which might seem really weird. Um, but it's going to just come off and... Yeah, it's going to put traffic lights in, isn't it? Oh no, I can just go like that. And then if we get the advanced tool. Ban right turns. Ban right turns. Remove the traffic lights. And make it a... No, I don't want to make it a stop. That might work. It took a long time for the traffic to realize they can they can do that. Ban left. I don't need to ban left because this is one way. It's only it's a one way road. Automatically. By virtue of being a uh, it's a highway ramp road. So there's no zoning along it either. Let's see if cars start using it. None of the cars that are already down here can, obviously. But yeah, there's one using it. Let's go a bit faster. Because it'll take a while for the AI to process the fact that there's a there's a new route for them to take. Oh, and we are bunched up here for some reason because of this red. Oh, you little shit! Ban, ban, fucking ban! You are not allowed to do that. You. Where do you live? Get out of my town. Outrageous behaviour. My question, what's on the left side of that roundabout? You mean here? Or here? <laughs> left side of which roundabout? <laughs> cars coming down here and because this is two lanes this can hold a little bit more traffic so easing things a little bit it was not extreme that is absolutely outrageous traffic behavior this one to the left this is the Town centre, pretty much. Up in here. But that does seem to have eased the traffic a fair bit. Now, the big problem now is we've got a lot of, just a lot of traffic trying to come in to the town, but again, it's kind of inevitable when there's only one way in at the moment. Well, that's not true. They can go out this way and they can go out this way, but like everybody's commuting from here to here at the moment is the main issue. You have to pay your tax, or I'll kick you out. <laughs> no tax avoided here. It could also simply be the pedestrian crossing causing trouble. And there is a way around that. So this pedestrian crossing is very well used, which is good. But if we fucking we come along here like this, and then if we go. I don't think f it's five meters high enough to go over.
fucking Christ. See, 10 meters seems too high to me. Surely it would let me do a 7.5. Meter one. Yeah. That's still high, but it's not stupid. And then it can just connect over there like that. Uh... And then, I know it's not the most aesthetic thing, but then we can remove the pedestrian crossing there. Now, some of them will still try and cross there because they want to, but uh, it should help. Like it really should, especially if we put a path uh, connecting these two up. I like that. And then a path through, like so. Really? I was trying to avoid doing, but never mind. Well, whoever was I thought was going to knock on my door, I don't think he's going to. I was convinced that someone was going to knock on my door. Right, let's go. Hey, Telemony Dan. I should uh, add a second exit to get into Braymore, further up the highway, that is a secondary route to force traffic away from that singular exit. You are not wrong. However, there is another exit all down here, and I really don't want to put lots of them too close together. Now, the main thing we need to do is to, is to improve the flow off here, and I really do think this will make a big difference. Um, another thing I'm going to do, actually, I don't like that big commercial blob, so I'm going to cut it off. Or try to. Here we go. And look a bit better because now they shouldn't pause here as much. I mean, they still get idiots who can't drive, uh, causing problems. You can see a lot of people are using the walkway. And that means that there's less confusion here. Although this person is still causing massive issues. Uh, okay, you maybe saved yourself. Yeah, that is increasing the flow down this way, which should relieve the pressure up here. The only other thing I can do is make this road bigger. Like, just here. Um, I could make this a wide road, potentially. But... Or I could use uh, an asymmetric. Hold on. Uh, five lane asymmetric. Yeah, we can use that. Uh, 
Uh, except it's going to try and add a pedestrian crossing right there. I might be able to take it out. What do you mean overlapping items? What overlapping items? No, don't be stupid. It is generally superior, the way uh, the roads work, but not always. She's being dumb with me today. Right. Now, if you wouldn't mind... Oh, Jesus. What did you break? No, there's definitely connections there. It's just them being really stupid at this point. It says this pipe isn't connected. What pipe? Oh, that one. Uh, there we go. Okay. Right, and then all of these need to respawn. Uh, at this point, I should just do a custom roundabout, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. So, we're going to come down with our asymmetric uh, road. To here. If they're not losing their homes... They will be rebuilt. And then, yeah, we want... Well, maybe it'll... Maybe I can do it with the regular roundabouts. I just need to get to not being stupid.
it's just random demolition. Right. But I really don't want people walking across the road, if you see what I mean. No crossing there. Um. Hmm. Well, I could do something a bit weird. Because people from this corner can cross to this corner. Already. You're not going to let me do anything fun like that, are you? Uh, okay. Could use the underground underpass trick. I tend to prefer them above ground, though. Uh... I mean, we could have a, a crossing like here. It's going to complain about slopes being too steep. Oh, not fair. That looks powerfully ugly. Really only want the one. Like actual bridge. Hey, Jeremiah. Yeah. So, do you really want to get pedestrians off? I think maybe I can do a underground version. Under like that again, it's it's better than a bridge, <laughs> but that means people from this side and this side can get to that side, which means that we can get rid of that crossing. And then what we can do is we can have a Cheeky we cross
Anyway, that doesn't look the best, but I think it's the best I'm going to be able to do. Right. Zoning. Yeah, zoning's going to be totally messed up. Oh, well. In. Does the map have a north? I think it does. I think I think this is north up here. Because it always defaults to that orientation when you uh, activate the thing. Uh, and that should mean that we can remove this and this crossing. And people will stop being, stop kind of walking onto the roundabout, hopefully. Quite as much, although there are a lot of people right there. Pedestrians will just disobey the fact there's no crossing here. I don't know if that's because you're just waiting for their pathfinding to catch up. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, it's a police car. I think police cars are allowed to ignore the rules. But that's a very silly rule. To be ignoring, Mr. Police Car. <laughs> and I think I will remove all those pedestrian crossings as well. Police! Catch that policeman! What's this idiot doing? But there we go. We've got much better flow coming off and into the town, which is the main thing. We do have a lot of traffic waiting here. Oh, that might also be caused by ambulances. Or just this guy pushing in. Exit on the south. Oh, yeah. In here, leaning in this way. I could do, but... Honestly, yeah, like, on a motorway, that those two are about the right spacing. If I, if you have too many junctions, it's, it's not great. I, I, I do need uh, driving schools. That is for, for darn short. <laughs> schools are actually looking okay. Why are people leaving? Oh, because I blew up their houses. <laughs> <laughs> People aren't leaving. There's just nowhere for them to be. Oh, there's a fire. Fives, where are you? It's 
Stuck in traffic. Lovely. Get out of the way! Okay, now we have an actual jam up in here. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm going to remove this pedestrian crossing because that's not going to help. Yeah, this is messed up in here. Why can't I remove them? Don't know, but yeah, there's like... Oh, there's traffic lights as well. Uh, yeah, the road here is messed up. Let's try... Uh, is it maybe just not connected properly? That does happen sometimes. done it again. See? It's got this weird interaction. move <laughs> could also be that there's traffic lights right here so what we could do is make this a one-way street oh the other way the, the other way why is that so hard to do in cs2 i don't want to have to delete the Street. I just want to make it a one-way street, but in the other direction to the one it's doing. How do you do that? Excuse me, I'm going to Google it. Oh, really? You have to fucking delete them? That is stupid. That's actually worse than it used to be. You used to be able to, like, just, like, click it and it would swap the direction. Uh, yeah, the roads here are screwed up. For some reason. One way off. Uh, right turns are not permitted. Right turns are also not permitted. Right turns are not permitted. And I kind of want this one to be a one way as well. Yes, that way. Good. And then... Goodbye, traffic lights.
Uh, traffic management. Don't you just love it? Oh yeah, I should ban parking along here as well. road lines. <laughs> that should improve the flow. I can't do anything about this gubbing up just yet. There we go. They're sorting themselves out. And yeah, we've got a good, f uh, not good, better flow on this roundabout. We just need to really pressure on it, but can't do that really that effectively just yet. I mean, we, buses are not even full. Maybe by giving them an additional lane to fill up on all the way down here, because basically one is left, one is straight on, one is right. Um, does actually look a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. That gives them the extra lane right from the start. Free public transport. I actually don't know what my. I don't. Th I mean, we do get fees, but I don't know if there's a way to set them. Oh, yeah. Ticket price is eight. Now, with a ticket price of eight, that is cheaper than parking your car at either end considerably. Hey, okay. Let's ignore all the traffic problems and go do something else. Because now I have this tile that I wanted to get. And yes, I know I have fancy new high-density businesses. Which are very cool. But I can also finish off this town, which is super cool. And I think just coming down like so.
bit of uh, medium. And then... Low density. Oh yeah, they will have arrived ages ago. He says confidently. Nope. Name's still undecided. I will put down the district for it now. And then I think, yeah, has around the outside as well. There you go. Dread Dreadnought something. Okay. Uh, we could also put some homes down here, which has been suggested already. Putting some homes along this bit. Which I don't think would look too terrible either. Uh, although, we could maybe... Maybe make it like a little... This would be a very kind of... Fancy and exclusive kind of bit. And yeah, I'm going to use the lanes, or alleys, as the game calls them, to kind of do this, this, just this little bit in here as well. But I don't want them to go necessarily to fill their block if the blocks are going to cause terraforming issues. Ooh, the Sculptor Mansion. Fancy. That would actually work quite well down here. Probably right here, actually. Right on... Right on the edge there. Uh, it's definitely not... I think Yorick Street will probably have way higher... Street value. Put it that way. Uh, this this is just because it's right in there in the city. You know, it's got all the city services and stuff. Whereas this bit won't at all. They're they're pretty far outside the service area, I think. But there we go. Got a little mansion. Very nice. Uh... Yeah. 
How do I... Oh yeah, go into the tool mode, that makes sense. <laughs> Give the match to five so we know it won't burn burn down. How are the traffic problems looking? Ah, see, that's looking a lot clearer now. But we have problems actually on the roundabout itself. Hmm. Maybe it's time to redevelop the actual interchange. Because it is not fit for purpose. Look at this. Jesus. Okay, no more... No more of this. Okay. Get rid of the extended bits for now. So, we don't really care about traffic going from here to here very much. <laughs> yeah, but then we'd have to go in the other way. <laughs> we'd have massive traffic coming this way. So, we want to have... Our... Traffic coming off. from here or oh, I could do one that I could do one that's really irritating ones that goes yeah I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come off and we're gonna come around no Silly. Can come around to here, and then we come. Oops. I'm going to start. Uh, actually. Can I come up? No, fucking. Hey there, real life. Enjoy it. Uh, it could be any time of the day you like. <laughs> Let's 
gonna come off to go like that and then have one coming off like so because this doesn't even need to be a dual highway anymore it's not getting that kind of use um wow that's a it's <laughs> a pretty sharp turn I might actually no no There we go. This is a thing of any road. Ah, oh, slope too steep. Fine. Spoil my fun. I don't know what slope you're talking about. Yeah, there you go. Talking absolute rubbish. So now traffic coming from here can go off this way, go straight on, or they can go right with basically two full lanes plus a third to all channels. Ah, no, I don't want a third, do I? Because I want some for traffic coming from that direction. I am a plonker. That will mean, yeah, lots of traffic comes up like this. And then we're going to obviously need the exit that comes in this way. But we will also need a lane for coming back over here. But I'll deal with that in a minute.
Okay. Cool. Coming off this way is going to be tricky, but let's try it. What the shit is that connection? fuck is this? How do I kill you? Okay, never mind. Let's try it again. Um, see, sometimes sometimes City Skyline 2 is better, but sometimes it's like, I want to add a connection there. I don't want you to. Right, hold on. Let us do it slightly differently. Yeah, it didn't add anything stupid apart from traffic lights. No traffic lights. No pedestrian crossing. Good. Right. Now then. Obviously, we want the left to branch off, but. The two lane is going to have to carry traffic over. Like so. And then. This is very circuitous. <laughs> I could, instead of doing that, have it go up and over. I think I will. I tend to not like doing three level interchanges, but I th think I'm going to need to. So we're going to have one road that is going to... I'd like it if I didn't have to go to 20. I get a fifteen.
Noodle piles, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not a good place to put a concrete <laughs> pillar. But okay. <laughs> that seems incorrect. But now I kind of know what I want to do. It's fine. We've got a guide. Just try and make it look not completely terrible. There. And then this one is going to go... It's going to go down here and join this one. don't have a lot of a lot of traffic coming down here so you can give them some space to merge we could be fucking idiots no space to merge for you um concrete pillar right in the middle of the roadway i know what could go wrong so instead we're going to get this kind of tentacle monster looking thing um Right, I think the only thing I haven't accounted for <laughs> is this, like, traffic that's coming along this way wanting to go over here. And it's always the last bit of the intersection that looks the worst, inevitably. No, 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 no. Which items are overlapping? I don't believe you. Ah! So you get this incredibly spaghettified <laughs> nonsense. What's with the weird bump? That is a very weird bump. Um, let me make that a bit, a bit better. It's an even worse bump. <laughs> What's with the bump?
There. No weird bump. Uh, see you silent. Yeah, thank you for coming, coming to say hello. Right, let's see how they cope with this. <laughs> There's a lot of traffic to get through. Of course, we have a bus stuck in midair. It's totally normal. Also means there's actually more space in the intersection. Wow, that is that is some weird ass height stuff going on. It's a big old speed bump. <laughs> okay, can we get rid of that, please? That that hurts me. Not even bumpy. He just decided to be really weird about it. Okay, 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 okay. Breathe, breathe. It will be fine. Lines look a little weird, but other than that, I think we are okay. And then yeah, the speed bump. Do we have the big speed bump anymore? No. Look how high it was. You are doing something very illegal. Banned. just doing u-turns and stuff hopefully once the zoning settles down uh, like the pathfinding settles down they should stop doing that jesus christ i really wish on a highway this resulted in the police coming along and shooting people um Right, we've just got a lot of traffic wanting to go this way. I should have anticipated that. Let's just make this two lanes. And this three. And this five. Four. So they got some room to merge before the bridge. Turns if we could make this a large road, which would make some sense. Uh There we go.
that is looking a bit better. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Yes, break a traffic law, we'll bulldoze your house. Damn straight we will. <laughs> okay, it's it's kind of, kind of in kind of a squid-like junction, but it kind it kind of works. It kind of works. Bit of a, I guess it's a stack interchange, isn't it? Technically, squid stack. You dig it? Thank you very much. I really like this bit. <laughs> this bit looks so funky. Like you, th this is a bit clover leaf ish, and then it just it goes all squiggly and tentacly. <laughs> But yes, that looks to have helped. Good. If in doubt, interchange. <laughs> yeah, I, I did know that when I built the roundabout interchange, that it's it was it was a temporary measure. Uh, roundabout interchanges are great, but only if you have like medium amounts of traffic. Once you get heavy traffic. Partic hey, Faith. Uh, particularly the uh, when the traffic's getting heavy, you, you need to custom one. The Cthulhu Interchange. Yes, good. <laughs> You'd go mad just by looking at it. Uh, another nonsense you used to do in uh, CS1 is rather than having the three lanes going through, you'd actually put the through lanes down to one so that the... Uh, you didn't have this kind of four or five merging, the merging lanes. But I, I think it works fine. Given that we have so little traffic coming over this way now, not none, but much reduced. So it's mostly a kind of inverted trumpet. <laughs> It definitely seems to be helping. Good. Good, good, good. Right, I can go back to what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, I did have a plan for when we got to Great Town, and I forgot what it is. It would be nice if we had more than ro one road connecting uh, Dreadnought Village to Quebec Park. So I think... What I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to put in a connector, but it's not going to be a regular road. We're going to put in a uh, country highway type road. It's going to come up along the side of the oil area and then down into this road here just so there's another way like that that's a fast faster faster road that makes a bit more sense to me uh what should we do next chat That is that, that has actually helped a lot. Look at this. Reduce traffic. It's positively quiet. We could look into doing some high density business given our overwhelming commercial demand. So I'm gonna experiment with what it looks like on this tile right here. 
and what kind of buildings actually spawn in. So I can get a feel for where I want to put it and what we want to do with it. <laughs> the British Palace. Wow, money is going... It was up a second ago, and now it's going down again. <laughs> Um, don't know why. Yeah, look at that. Much smoother traffic on, on these roundabouts. And much smoother traffic going up through the interchange. Although we'll have to keep an eye on it when it's busier. Because the traffic's not even all the time. Oh, okay. Those are actually really big buildings. Cool. I don't want really big buildings down here. Cool. Those are more like downtown. Like actual like a big multi-story like yeah those, those are pretty uh pretty big buildings uh well i know it might sound weird but one thing we could add right here <laughs> and you're gonna think i'm mad is a retail park because we've got overwhelming commercial demand like insanely high commercial demand here. We could add a commercial park in here. It's going to have to come off. We're going to have to adjust this. Hold on. Uh, so it's going to take the take the corner off. Um, so uh, the only difference between the console version and this version supposedly will be that the uh, retail version uh, the console version sorry will uh have uh, no ability to load code mods. So they'll, they'll get asset mods um, and presumably a different control scheme. But no, the, the whole point is that the console version is going to be near identical. Although I suspect the reason it got pushed back is because of the crazy... Um, uh, resource requirements for Skylines. Oh, I can't do five meter bridges. Totally go over that if you wanted to. Right, let's try this again. Um, do what? I'll put in the bridge first. It's easier. <laughs> uh... And then again, I know this looks 
very weird. But uh, again, this is something that I, I think there's, a, there's somewhere down in Edinburgh that's a bit like this. Where there's a really weird... Uh, retail park that ba basically is like this where <laughs> it's not at all where you expect and yes I know I could have put a road in here but that's not as, as much fun <laughs> uh, maybe but it should still work for traffic coming down here um, I'm not going to do anything too crazy along here. I mean, it's not that much space. Basically. That... <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, no. Try that again. <laughs> cool. Because, yeah, it's going to be a big, big old... Actually, we could even use the... This thing is massive. But we could put in a... Um... Try and put in a multi-story car park. That's ah, too big. It's just too big. How many parking spaces does it have? Uh, oh, it doesn't tell me, actually. It's less than the very large. And costs the same. Huh. I'm going to put it down here. <laughs> now, let's do it. Script. It has... 160 spaces compared to just pop this somewhere oh 321 this has more what that has more space than that oh well I kind of like it just as a as a funny building to put in um what do, yes we will put a bus stop in what does the car wash do? Uh, put it in. Why not? Right. And then, yeah, this is just going to have... No, 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 no. Commercial buildings. In here. And I'm tempted to do high density business. Uh, but I have a suspicion that that will uh, actually get me in trouble. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We've got a sports stadium. Uh, we've got this one. But uh, yes, you. I think you do... Yeah, large sport parks. Get American football field, soccer field, aka football, and a pool. I mean, I could unlock them actually. We have loads of development points. Uh, large sport parks. Wow, they cost four. Jeez. But yes, you do. You do get them.
Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> like that's inside. Oh yeah, bus stop. Think, 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 think. From here to here and back again. So, geez, I guess this one, new one. might run into uh, limits on the number of buses because it's not assigned one uh, no I've got 22 out of 25 okay we're nearly at our bus depot limit I can deploy an additional garage uh, oh yeah I was gonna put that in here wasn't I but we don't need it right now. We also have the electric buses, which are cool, but really you want to wait for the when you have a, like an actual bus uh, station thing. Yeah, this should help satisfy that commercial demand. Yeah, commercial demand's gone away. Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is where you would put your like your IKEA and your Costco and stuff like that here. Mm. But yeah, a little bit of uh out of town commercial fills in that little gap. Let it pop in. Um, cinema, typical place for a cinema or something like that to go. Big supermarkets, those kind of things. Now, what we really should do is rather than forcing everybody to drive or take the bus, which of course they do have to pay for, we can add You may think, oh, well, no one's going to use this, but they will. Yeah, you can put in a footbridge that allows people who are over here to just walk over the motorway. Down into here, and they have access to the retail park. Yeah, walkway across the highway, exactly. 
th I'm just surprised. Like this is a th this is a th what three story car park, but it has less parking in it than this, which is we only slightly larger footprint wise. Like it's really not that big footprint wise. The very large. And it has almost double the spaces? I'm just surprised. You'd think you could fit a lot of cars in here. It's a cool building, though. <laughs> it's cooler looking than having uh, just one of the open ones. I really want it. The underground one is super nice. Uh, this, the underground parking. This is really cool. It's cheap as well. And that gives you like 200 spaces. Uh, and this thing, I haven't actually ever put down, but it just looks so much fun. <laughs> Have I had an accident? Yeah, we have. Uh, is that just a lot of parked cars, or is that actually genuinely a lot of traffic? No, it just looks like a lot of parked cars. Getting some traffic problems in here, though. Yeah, just a lot of people trying to go to work, I guess. A lot of people... Why don't you go this way? Hmm? Look. No traffic. That way. You're no, no, I must go this way. <laughs> chill. Guys, chill. Yeah, they're all turning right. They all want to come on this way. Relax. Go, go down this one. <laughs> uh, looks out of place with only one story commercial. I mean, we could experiment with the super big commercial if you want. You can see what that looks like. Next to it. I'm just wary. I think I think it'll look really weird having having that, but we'll try it. Would also really help with the commercial demand. <laughs> uh. Is anyone using the bus? Yeah, lots of people using that bus. Look at all those people who got off. Uh, yeah, well, I, I tell you what, I've got two small plots here as well. So we can try it. Wait for them to need to build them. So you get things that look like that. These look much more like a downtown kind of thing. To me, like, I would not expect to see those kind of buildings out in the wild. Like, the wild. <laughs> out on the outskirts of a town like that. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe this is... Silly, the overground parking. Maybe we'd be better with a just like a big ordinary car park. I mean, hardly anyone is parking in it. I'd rather change this than change these. I think tube. Yeah, tube's very expensive. See. This, to me, this is like downtown. Downtown stuff. 
All right, let's change this then. By uh, P. Yeah, you can just get the the very little, uh, no, the very large won't fit. Get the large parking in here. Oh, I, I think they look great. Don't get me wrong. I think they look really cool. It's just they don't look right here. So, street parking it is. Although, <laughs> one thing we could do, because all of these buildings have their own car parks. No, no street parking allowed. You either have to go in the big car park, or... You have to park at the shop that you're going to. No. No free parking. thought it would be loading more passengers to be honest maybe it still is nope one person A lot of people waiting for a bus, but the buses aren't leaving full. Which is odd. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, they're just not getting on it. Line four. Oh, it's this one. Why is bus line four so busy? Buses are being used. That's the main thing. Uh, hey, Rice Admiral. No, don't worry about it. I'm going to have to end now anyway. But uh, we made some good progress. We uh, made Cthulhu Junction. We've made this nice little kind of commercial, commercial out-of-town shopping retail park type place. We've finished Dreadnought Village, or mostly finished Dreadnought Village. I'll probably put some farms around the outside. 
because uh, I, th I really like the way that looks down here in Briarwood Village. But uh, yeah, give it put some farms around the outside. Um, basically, fill this area in with farms. I think in between them. So we get this really nice rural, semi-rural type of uh, type of feel. But uh, overall, I'm I'm pleased. I'm pleased with how things are going. <laughs> rail. So rail to... I mean, the railway station is over here. The, the actual railway is here. Which is not the most convenient place for it. Because uh, our town centre is going to be in here. Um, but that that's for the future. Can't connect to the internet. Yeah, nobody really cares about that. You're just whinging. Crime is an issue. Oh, we need a prison. That's the problem. Damn, those are expensive. Central Intelligence? <laughs> mm, yes, minus 8% crime rate citywide. I wonder why. <laughs> but yeah, we, we have some sentenced criminals, so... Think about a good so spot for a, a prison. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you another time. I'm going to put that throw up thanks for watching. I'm going to save the game. Uh... No, that one. And I'm going to quit. I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube. And then we're going to raid and run on Twitch, I think. Uh, come on, game. There we go. Bye, YouTube. Okay, Twitch folk.